yelling at me already. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Laura Kane After Dark. Happy holidays, everybody. I feel Happy like holidays. every that's Eric Rimmer, by the Hi. way. I'm Laura Kane, producer Brian over here. Hello. I feel like everybody is on vacation this week. Do you feel the same? Yes. That people who are lucky have this week and next week off. We're not on vacation. We no. are here for you. When I used to when I used to work in radio, I used to get five weeks of vacation and I would get these two weeks off. Oh my it god. It was like so great. I didn't appreciate it as much as I should have. Because <laughs> gosh, it's awesome. But um we have lots to talk about today. We're not on vacation. This is a live on Instagram and YouTube and brand new because we never take a break except for next week. Happy birthday. Or happy Merry uh -oh. Christmas, Michael. Oh, <laughs> is this God. how this is going to wow. go today? Lord. Let me take a sip of my Red Bull then. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Did you take a swig of that and wash down a handful of gummy bears? No, I'm, I'm out of gummy bears. Oh, I know. Wow. I'm sorry. Did you want some? No. No? Mm -mm. Uh, I already had my pack today. Did you? Yes. A jumbo pack or just a regular pack? A regular pack. Oh, a okay. pack and a half probably, yeah. Wow. That's my normal. And she's not talking about cigarettes, y'all. She's no. talking about gummy bears. <laughs> right. A package, I should say. A package. Uh, Gregory from Millennium Nails was just on. Gregory, look at my nails. I peeled them off in oh, the car Gregory. on the way home she's from Julie, going out. Hi. hi, Julie. Before we get into everything, I want to make sure that you guys know that starting when our first show back, which I believe is January 2nd, I think that's the Monday. Yeah. We are only doing Instagram live for our subscribers. So we have a few subscribers right now and I would love it. Eric would love it. Brian would love it. If you would subscribe to our Instagram channel, it's $4.99 a month and you get to come to our meet and mingle, which is January 26th and it's going to be super fun. We're going to have prizes and stuff. And you can watch and participate in our Instagram lives. So that is how you are going to enjoy this subscription. That's <laughs> what right. am I trying to say? Um, all you have to do is go on to our bio on Instagram and you see a little button that says subscribe and it's easy. It's right there. It's four ninety nine. Come on. Yeah. And for that four ninety nine, you're going to get Tata -ta Tuesdays, which um, when we do it live on Tuesday's show, you're going to be showing off the Tatas a lot. I'll be doing that a lot. I've already lot. sent uh, private videos to our subscribers. Oh, yeah, I got to make it a private video. I know. Too. I keep telling him, Eric, send me a video of you doing something like just being at work or I'll do that in your house. Just tomorrow. Just like 15 seconds just to say hi to our great subscribers who are I already there. I, I was a little under the weather, so I. Oh, OK. Yeah, I I excuse you. Nobody wants to see me having diarrhea. So, oh, uh, my God. OK. <laughs> I didn't know you were sick like that. I thought you were just cold sick. It would be very on brand though. Wouldn't very it be on, on brand. brand? It really would. Very on brand. Before we get into our host chat and anything else, let's talk about my favorite guy. Jay Wurzler. From Capital Growth Inc. Jay, thank you for my coaster. Oh yes. We now we each have a coaster that says Capital Growth and it's really thick and ceramic yeah, and we love it. Very I love it. So we, Jay and I, and another woman went down to Mexico to look at Baja Coast Realty, oh, yes. the, the properties down there. So I spent a whole day with Jay and he was telling me more about his, his company and what he does. And I'm telling you what, if you have some money and you're worried that you're losing money, say in your 401k or you're stressed out, please give Jay a call. He can set you in the right direction. As a matter of fact, he just talked to one of our listeners today. He told me she's a school teacher. She's 36 and she needs some guidance money wise. So perfect. I'm so proud of you, whoever you are for going to see Jay because he will set you straight. He's always trying to set me straight, but I keep telling him I don't have any money for you to manage yet, but that's probably not a wise thing to say. Very Eric, tonight. yes, mommy. Stop. So, what is his phone number? His phone number is 858 552 6960. His email is J A Y W at capital growth inc.com. Okay. And the website is capital growth inc.com too. Did you yes. say that? 
No, that oh. I didn't say yet. Um, he just, he knows everything there is to about financial planning. He's a specialist in divorce matters too. So if that's something you might be going through and you're worried about your money and what you get, please talk to Jay, okay? Capital Growth Inc., thank you. And happy holidays, guys, over there in the office. Yes, happy holidays. You guys are awesome. All right, so now my host chat. Hey, Jay, what's up, buddy? Hi. I hope you liked your commercial. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dave Fallet. Ah! Hey Dave from Dave and Jeff. Oh hi Dave. The Dave and Jeff podcast, which is awesome, you guys. Another podcast you need to listen to, hundred percent. Okay, so all right, there's something that's been on my mind for now a week, and I cannot stop thinking about a woman named Allison and her oh, three kids. Yeah. I cannot get it out of my head. Um, a she is the wife of the man named Twitch who took his life in a hotel room all by himself. He was the DJ on the Ellen show, if you aren't aware by with the name. I remember him when it was a So You Think You Can Dance. He was a contestant on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I remember him when he was just auditioning. It was He was so good. Yeah. He was and, in the Magic Mike movie, Oh, I yeah, think. that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, how um, incredibly shocking and sad and scared and bewildered she must be. Um, it doesn't sound like there was anything leading up to this. No. I mean, who knows what goes on behind closed doors, you know? I just want you to know that if this is something that you have thought about, please know that there are options out there, okay? If your depression or your thoughts have to do with, or they're drug related, maybe talk to me. Okay. I believe me. I had those thoughts when I was using too. I really did. And they, it's not, it's scary. In fact, when everything came crashing down on me, I had threatened to commit suicide. I don't think I was actually going to do it, but they called the police and took me to the mental health uh, hospital. And there I got better. I just want you to know that there is a number that you can call and it's really easy. It's 988. You just have to dial 988. And I called it just to see what, who answered. And there's a recording that answers first. And then if you're in the military, you press a special button. And if you are LGBTQ, under 25, there's another option for you. And otherwise, she just said, stay on the line. Someone will be here to answer your call. So 988. It's mm -hmm. really easy. And you know, it's... Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to make this... No, but there's never anything. I mean, he was 40 years old. And I was reading... I was up in LA when the news broke and... Though his wife, Allison, had said she went to the cops immediately because they were all home. And she said he just left and turned his phone onto uh, airplane, airplane so that nobody could contact him. And she immediately called the police and said something's wrong. She must have known in her gut. And she said there was no fighting. There was no discord or anything. Everything was just fine. Well, and you know... People put on Instagram the things they want you to see. So they mm -hmm. seem to be the perfect couple. So cute, right. those little dance videos yep. that they did and stuff. It seemed like they just had the perfect life. But that just goes to show you that what you see on Instagram is just people. It's not real life, you know? Sure. It's not their true life. Sure. It's just highlights. And it's just what they want you to see. Right. So don't think you're alone. You're not alone. Somebody there, somebody out here loves you desperately and would be crushed if you weren't here. For and sure. The world is a big place and it's a scary place and it's too big for some people, but there are options. Okay. Oh, for sure. And it's never a sign of weakness to ask for help. Oh, so no, it's not. Right. Oh, most definitely not. So if you need to reach out to one of us, please do. We will. Do you answer your DMs? I do. Okay, good. Because uh -huh. I know you you didn't. In uh, uh, no, for, I've I've gotten much better. About okay, it. good. Yes, I definitely do. Uh, Nine eight eight is the number if you feel like you need to talk to somebody else. So there's that. That's my host chat. I just wanted to bring that up, and and I, I like that there's a number that's so easy to remember right. that you can just punch in your phone. Absolutely, you're feeling 
not so good. So um, my heart goes out to Allison and those three Me too. kids. I it's just, so sad. It's just like, it's suicide. It's just so dark. Cause well, you know, and with social media the way it is n- now, um, it's very difficult, like you said, everybody kind of has a, my life is perfect you know, very rarely do people, I mean, people do air out their dirty laundry yeah. on social media a lot. Um, but it is very sad when the press gets a hold of it because immediately when what? the news broke, stuff was being said like they were in dire financial straits and stuff. Oh, I so didn't see that. can you imagine <sighs> yeah. having having to deal with that and then having to go and say, um, no, that's not true. Mm -hmm. You know, having to all of a sudden deal with the onslaught of just because people need to know why it's just why, Mm -hmm. I mean, was it because he, the Ellen's not on the air anymore. Did that have something to do with it? Cause he was, was that his main money, you know, or he, I heard he had a lot of projects in the works. Yeah. So he was still gainfully employed and and doing great things. Yeah. But again, we don't know what goes on right in, in behind closed doors and in his mind between mm-hmm. his ears. We don't know right what th- thoughts are there, and he must have felt so helpless. And God, it's just ah, it's just so sad. Um, yeah. And especially at the holidays, mm-hmm. I just feel such um such sadness for her family. Yeah, yeah, it's very sad and. You know, especially right before the holidays, it's even... Oh, I know. More. Like, do you think he thought about that? Like... I don't know. I guess when you are at that state, I don't think you're thinking clearly. No, I don't I don't think so. Or... And that's why it's so important. And I've seen, especially with this, um, David, who was on our show a few weeks ago, worked with him. Oh, really? And said he was the nicest man you'd ever want to meet. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think some people can get into such a spiral that they just think that there's no way out. And there's always a way out. There is. Yes, there is. And there's always help and people love you. You are loved. Okay? Okay? All right. So that's my host, Chad. I needed to get that off my chest. I'm glad you did. Oh, thank you. And now I understand we are in for quite the treat with your mouth that does not stop when it should stop oh my god i don't know when (laughs) i should just you'd think i just carried a megaphone around with me what did you do so i was up in la for a couple of days um a good friend of mine had a birthday and a couple days prior to his party he fell down his driveway and broke his leg in two places oh so we went up um to help out and uh the second morning we were there we decided well we're gonna go for a walk around silver lake because that's where he lives and they've they've got this great um water uh kind of like a well it's a lake yeah yeah lake there's that and there's a park and everything thank you silver lake okay yeah so we're we're walking around it and my friend that i was walking with brought up the show how you and brian were talking (laughs) brian was like well which way do you put it down your pants since you oh left or right because you don't wear underwear and then i (laughs) blurted out not checking my surroundings or i was not aware of my audience at all we're just walking and it was a residential district on and it was you and some one other person okay and you're walking and you're talking and and i blurt out I love being naked. I sleep naked, you know, or I look up (laughs) and there's a woman taking her toddler out of the backseat of the car. And she just looks at me like, nice. In front of the children, Eric. I'm like, oh my God. (laughs) So then the party kicks in. So my friend still has his party. Okay. So he's. Broken leg and all. Broken leg and all on crutches. We're at a Mexican restaurant, and a, a very dear friend of his named Lisa, who is, 
I absolutely adore her. She, he wanted carrot cake. It's his favorite cake. It is not my favorite cake. I don't like carrot cake. I do not like carrot cake at all. Well, who thought about putting carrots in cake anyway? And, and it has, I think, walnuts or something in it, which is, you know, so. It's got weird <coughs> stuff in it. Yes. So they were going to order me a special dessert so that I didn't have to eat the carrot cake. And I said, nope, I am not going to be that guy. <laughs> I will deal with it. I will I will try it. I will, you know, I'm not going to be that guy that's like, oh, no, I need something special. So they bring the cake out. It's got the big sparklers and everything. Does that have frosting on it? It did. Okay. So, um, and she did a beautiful, beautiful job on the cake. So I tried it. It was moist and delicious. We're not allowed to say that word in this household. Oh, moist. moist. Yeah. Oh. Because it's so cringy. You, you so literally... You, I just made that ruling just now. It was your whole body shook when I, I said do, it. I know. I just don't like that I'm word. I'm going to look that into every conversation. Oh, wow. oh God. Brian, oh, no. yeah. Why did I say that? So the guy sitting across from me, because it was a seating chart. It was it, everybody sat where they. I had to make the little placards and everything. And uh, the guy sitting across from me, his name was Todd. He was absolutely hilarious. And... It, well, Somebody said something about the carrot cake, and he goes, it's a little dry, and takes a sip of his margarita. Now, he was t- kidding, 100%. Okay. So, I look at him, and I just start laughing, and he's like, what? And I go, it's a little dry, and I take a sip of my water, I think, that I had, and standing right in front of me is Lisa, who made the cake. And she's <laughs> like, you thought my cake was dry? Oh, and I'm no. like, oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, even when it's a joke, like I, I just need to n- fasten a seatbelt around my mouth and not say anything. Read the room. Yeah, didn't even <laughs> know see your her, and I was like, I swear to God, it is moist and delicious. <laughs> moist, moist, moist. Oh no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no! Please, no. Eric's mouth keeps getting bigger just so he has room to put his foot in it. Oh, oh my God, Eric. those size eleven feet and my tiny little mouth. I'm telling you. I bought you some shoes for Christmas, but you already know that, right? Oh, God, I'm excited so for you excited. to get them, but they, they're not going to get here before Christmas. I'm sorry. Wait till you see what you're getting. And I don't get it till Christmas? Uh-huh. Well, okay. I am okay with that, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm making you wait. You're making me wait? I'm making you wait, lady. <laughs> okay, all right. Just I wait till wait. you see what I got you guys. Eric, you're getting underwear with a tag that says please wear me (laughs) please contain your bits in this pouch oh my god (laughs) and a pair of jeans that says left and right so you can always tell which side it's hanging on (laughs) some designer should do that like in a funny way like put left except it only applies to people who don't wear underwear with true jeans which is virtually nobody (laughs) except for you except for me no, I'm not going to get into what? you being naked with your jeans without underwear on. Oh, and I did particles and th- weird things and stuff. I did. I was, I was so exhausted. I slept all day Saturday in be- in bed. You'll be very happy to know. Socks, sweatpants, sweatshirt with a hoodie. Oh, did you have a fever? Is that were you freezing yes. cold or something? Freezing. Oh boy, I could not get warm to save my life. Yeah, you were you fever. wearing underwear with it though? Yes, really. With your sweatpants? Yes. Oh, man. Wow. But I did get that. Then when I did get warm, I had to take the underwear off because it he was getting a little. Doesn't too. wear underwear with those. You know those thin nylon kind of shorts. They're not. They're basketball shorts, but they're they don't have the lining underneath. They're just like these thin nylon shorts that are kind of long. Without underwear. Like, I could see full-on outline of everything. <laughs> and I'm like, Eric, you I, need to wear underwear with some things. How was that, like, not super uncomfortable? How did you ever, like... flying around how there. How did you ever, like, hurt yourself? <laughs> yeah. Like, no, not, knock on wood. No. <laughs> not yet. You're so red right now. <laughs> One day you're going to come in, you're like, you're going to be limping. We're like, what's wrong? You're like, oh, my dick banged against my thigh really hard. <laughs> Well, you have smashed your bits a little bit, haven't you? Yeah, I've sat on them. Oh, my God. Wow. 
underwear. <laughs> that should be your New Year's resolution. To wear more underwear? Yes. Some people. Well, I have drawers wear. full of it. I don't know. I, you do, don't you? Yeah. Well, anyway, that could. Do you have a New Year's resolution? No, I never make them. Why not? Because I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I don't drink. I don't gamble. You already work out. Yeah. So I'm well, boring. Make, well, make a resolution to pick up an addiction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start doing drugs. Um, what was mine? Mine is, well, I want to eat. I want to eat healthier. I want to, I want to wean myself off of the sour gummy bears. That'll be the day. Oh, no, boy. I'm really going to try. I'm going to try. And I need to go to more meetings because I, those have kind of fallen off, you know, my radar, which is not good. So I'm going to go to more meetings this time. That's time. good. That's yeah, a good one. That is a good one. And it's one that I, I would do. put that as number one versus trying to wean yourself off the gummy bears. I know. Yes, I agree. Because I think that New Year's resolution will tank on day two. <laughs> well, yeah, let's 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 prioritize them based on. I'm realistic. not yeah. giving them up. I didn't say I'm giving them up. I just said I'm going to slowly See, wean. You are already giving yourself an out for that not to happen. Slowly <laughs> wean. There was some like story that I read that people instead of saying they're not going to drink in the new year, they're going to have a dry ish. January. That's like a new term. That's just a way for you to like, like if you eat one less bag per like, you know, per month, that's a way to congratulate yourself. Like, Oh, I'm still sticking to my resolution. <laughs> well, um, okay. Now we have daily dirt, double D's. I'm excited. Oh, I can't wait to talk about some TV shows that I watched. Oh. Did you watch some TV when you were sick? I did. Oh, well, no. I oh slept. my God. When should I talk about it before or after? After. Okay. Okay. I'm excited about your double D's. How did that happen? I don't know. My headphones just jumped off my head. Oh my God. There we go. What is up? What's up with you? What's up in the world of showbiz? Oh, a lot. Okay. Oh, good. So we've already co uh, covered Twitch. That was going to be my number one news story. And uh, so I'm going to move on to the next one. Harvey Weinstein was found guilty on three out of seven rape charges in LA. Oh, wow. I didn't yeah. hear that. Was that yeah. today? Just today. I thought he was already in jail. He, he he was, but oh. the trial is now in L.A. Why did it take him so long? So to wait, I know this guy. He is in jail currently, or he was, and he's out. What he's we, on a trial. So, but it, when he's done with trial, does he go back in jail, or does he go to his house? I don't know. They didn't oh. say. I think he's being held in jail. I, okay, that's what I I'm under the impression because it was in a courthouse and he was still masked up and. <sighs> He probably looks bad. Last oh, yeah, time I saw him, really he looked bad. very feeble. Well, he wasn't exactly fortunate looking to begin with. So. No. Oh, God. Can you imagine what Ew. he was like in his prime being like Yuck. so sleazy to the, all Gross. those women? That's probably why he did it because no one wanted to do it with him. Oh, God. I know. So he became powerful. So they would. Yeah. So gross. Um, Cecily Strong is leaving SNL. So who's going to be left? I don't know. They're bowing out left and right. I haven't watched SNL in a long time. Oh, and it's I, not because I don't like it. It's just because I forget about watching it. SNL hasn't really been funny in a long time. It hasn't. It, aside from like the weekend updates, which are still yeah, pretty funny. They're pretty funny. Yeah. But. Is it still Jost and Che hosting the news? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Colin Jost? Yeah. Uh -huh. They are funny. They are good. The, yeah, they're funny. The writing for that is really good, but the segments are all so hit and miss. Like, so has she been in movies, Cecily Strong? I think she's been in a couple. Okay. But yeah. She, she must have something in the works or she would yeah. leave. Uh, uh I think she probably does. She's probably going to have her own show or yeah. something. Um, there's rumors that Teresa Judice is pregnant. What? She's I like know. my age. I know. Talk what? about a Christmas miracle. Wow. <laughs> so we'll see if that's true. Her own body or does she have like a surrogate? Uh, they're not saying yet interesting i know so who knows if it's a rumor whatever but i saw something that Brittany posted you know she posts all these weird videos and stuff uh -huh. there was one of her and her her husband and she put her hand on her stomach and then her hand on his shoulder and i didn't 
it was, there was no sound. And I'm like, is she announcing that she's pregnant or what is this? What's well, the stomach? Remember she did and, that a few like yes. earlier in the year. I didn't and, appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, and I think you're, you're going to be very excited. What? Apparently Rihanna and her husband are doing a photo shoot to announce the baby. <gasps> oh my God, finally. I'm obsessed with celebrity baby names. So I, I don't understand that. I like. I just love. Literally, could not care less what the baby's name is. I know. I can't. It could wait. be avocado, as far as I'm concerned. It's yeah, probably like what is her husband's name or her boyfriend? I have no idea. Uh, I forgot. It's probably like Mr. Junior Rihanna. or something. Yeah. Big. It's probably his name, like Robert know. Junior. Uh, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp settled their defamation case. Didn't they already do that with the whole trial? Yes, but then remember there was the additional one that she filed. Oh, okay. And she has opted to not do that anymore. Oh, that's probably a good idea. I'm yeah. sure he just said he'll re- he'll either cancel out the money or lower it so that she's not $2 million in debt to mm-hmm. him. He I just saw a story. I gave it to you, but I'm going to I'm going to say it. Okay. <laughs> because I'm stealing your stories right now. Fine. Um, I saw that he dressed up like Captain Jack Sparrow for a Make-A-Wish kid. And he oh, yeah. called him, he video chatted with this kid. And I thought that was really cool. Yeah, yeah. he does I think that a he, lot, actually. Yeah, he's done that before. Does he? Really? I, heard, I heard he used to keep the outfit and makeup in his car, and he would just do it randomly oh, sometimes okay. to go visit hospitals. I like that a lot. Yeah. That makes mm-hmm. me really like him now. There's a bunch of videos of him doing stuff like that, and they're super sweet to watch. Oh, man. What else? Oh. Um, this is so good. What? Have you watched at all The Real Housewives of Miami? No. Oh uh, my God, Laura. The old one, yes, but not this current. Oh my God, it is so good. So you know Lisa, the one that's married to the plastic surgeon that had the affair and has like cut her out of... Not really. She literally does nothing. Except take care of their kids. I mean, that's a lot in itself. But she looks like a Barbie doll. She's had, I mean, he's a plastic surgeon, so she's had everything done. Okay. And she kind of comes across as being a little stupid. Yeah. Um, The husband, and it's it's been shown on like the previews where he's, it's a hot mic, and he, he says, oh, we haven't, you know, I'm uh, she's on her way out. I've got someone new or something to that effect. So it's all Ooh. caught on tape Ooh. of him saying this to somebody. Wow. At an event or something. So that all goes down in this episode. I'm on episode four, and it is juicy. How do I? I don't even know how to get it. Ever since <coughs> I it's dumped on cable. I bought Peacock and then my TV upstairs is so old it can't accommodate Peacock. You got a fire stick. I know. I think I have an old fire stick up there or something. I can't seem to get Peacock. I don't know. I paid for it, but... Does anyone still watch Real Housewives of anything? Yes. I think they do. Yeah, people do. There's only a couple that I watch. Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills, Hills, yeah. Miami. Apparently one of my mom's cousins used to live in the same development as the Real Housewives of Orange County. Uh Uh-huh. Coda de Casa. Coda de Casa. Yeah, Coda. Uh, no clue. That's all I know. <laughs> That's yeah. exactly where she lived. We know. We know. And, oh, and I watched Salt Lake City. And Jen Shaw from Salt Lake City, she's in a couple weeks, has her I sentencing. hope she goes away for a while. But the feds just seized a ton of knockoff designer bags and bling. Oh, knockoff. She had her. knockoff? Uh-huh. Oh. Uh oh, they're coming for me. <laughs> Eric, your Christmas present's not coming. Yeah, your Christmas present Uh-oh, is not going to make it. <laughs> so, there, uh, uh, now, Brian, this is right up your alley. There is a new reality show called Milf Manor. Wait, why is this right up my alley? And it's not a 30 Rock sketch. He's not into older women. Why not? I just don't think he is. He has somebody in his life who's probably the same age as him. Yeah. <laughs> you're not, like, you're not, <laughs> you've never once said that you're into older women. I mean, yeah. Wait, no, keep going, Eric. I'm, I'm curious where you're going to go with well, this. Well, remember 30 Rock? There was a, there was an episode, it was a fake reality show called Milf Island, and it was, like, 25 super hot moms and 
58th grade boys, no rules. Well, TLC has turned this into actual TLC reality. TLC does it again. It's called Milf Manor, and it features eight hot moms and eight younger men. But there's also a shocking twist. Why am I not on that show? And the whole time you were talking about the Salt Lake City, I was like, hmm, maybe I should date a plastic surgeon. That would be fun. Because oh then I could get all these kind of things done. God, you'd have a Lord, completely Lord different head. Lord for a couple of years, comes back as just Dolly Parton. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <No>, God. <laughs> so at the Kennedy Center Honors, Matt Damon told a story about how George Clooney once pooped in a friend's cat litter box as a prank. Wow. That's not something I, that would strike me as being very George Clooney. He's very much a prankster. I thought he was very much a posh gentleman. That's what Ocean's Eleven taught me. He is, and he's also a jokester. Like, him and his friends always do jokes on each other. Like, big extravagant ones. But that is kind of gross. It's disgusting. But funny, kind of. I won't ever poop in your house. I mean, at least... You have pooped in my house. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, about? but not on the floor in a litter box well or don't do that anywhere yeah please no you did something not great in my bathroom one time didn't you i don't think he does anything great in bathrooms no he did something with there was something with a toilet seat didn't you do something not great in my bathroom I by accident oh maybe uh -oh. you had did, to clean it did up you, did you leave some skid marks on the toilet seat <laughs> no <laughs> i don't know what it i don't remember i think i just blanked it out I it probably just, did too. Probably that bad. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Oh, so there is a show on Netflix that I am freaking out about because it is unbelievable. It's called Do Not Answer the Phone or Don't Pick Up the Phone. Don't Pick what? Up the Phone. It's three episodes and it's a real story about this hoax caller who pretended he was a cop would call little teeny towns like in the midwest he'd call mcdonald's wendy's taco bells and he would have the manager he'd pretend like he was a cop he'd have the manager go get one of the employees he would say um i need you to go get the woman she has blonde hair and she's short so they'd find like a short blonde haired okay yeah it must be julie Bring her in the office. She's accused of stealing $50 out of one of the customer's purses. So the manager goes, gets her, comes back, and then the, the fake cop, which they don't know is fake, proceeds to tell them to have her undress, take off all her clothes, do a cavity search. She has to do jumping jacks. She has to bend over. I mean, and the whole thing was caught on camera because they had one in the office. And you can't believe what these people are doing to this girl. Like they, it, it's really interesting because it's like th this, these towns uh, are very religious towns and people are very obedient. And so kids are obedient and so are people and they will do anything that a police officer says, even like spanking her. He had them spank the girl they oh had my god him perform oral sex on the she had she brought a guy in oh my god it's just like it's so crazy what like, it's so what purpose? crazy was he trying to get money out of her? like what type of scam is this he, just to get his <laughs> they're, jollies they're super religious and the guy's like yeah i'd like you to go down on her uh <laughs> well no <laughs> oh, it was like okay this, sure it's, it's it was like, her yeah, boyfriend her boyfriend it was the manager's boyfriend he went and got she went and got him into the back office where the girl is naked she's holding an apron up to her body because she's just like oh my god i can't believe this happened to me then the manager leaves she's alone with the man and the man gets on the phone with the fake cop so the fake cop tells him you're gonna need she's gonna need to perform oral sex you on know you. that this was a movie what yeah it it came out i can't remember who was in it but um this it's called compliance this happened over a period of 10 years. Yeah, this was a, it, it was a, I believe the movie was called Compliance and it was. It's, uh, it's really good mm -hmm. because it's about these two detectives who managed to figure out who it is in a sea of millions and billions of people. They and, find. And this is on Netflix? Yes. Oh my God. Don't answer the phone or don't pick up the phone or something like that. Okay. And then I'm watching one. 
I just started called Vol Volcano. It's a documentary about a volcano, an active one in New Zealand. It's on an island that people go. It's a very hot vacation destination, and it's it's the story of a couple people who went up there on a hike, and it erupted. Oh, and yeah, this happened a couple years ago. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. So I'm watching that. Did they survive? Yeah, but they're a all burned. Of, oh, my God. Well, a lot of people died. Yeah, a lot of people did die. And they weren't able to get to the island or something. or I, I don't know. I haven't watched all but maybe 10 minutes of okay, it. Okay, I'm going to make myself notice. But you have to watch that other one. You won't believe your eyes. And like you'd think at some point they'd say, wait, you need me to spank her because why? Because she was accused of stealing $50? What? In the God's name, does that have to do with anything? They don't ever yeah. say that. This is all over the phone too, right? It's all over the phone. And this guy must just get his jollies uh, having people obey him. That doesn't make sense. Something's wrong with that. It is crazy. I was Volcano on Netflix as yes, well? Yes, okay. it is. And what else did I want to tell you about? I think that's it. Oh, the 90 Day Fiance Breakup. Heard Round the World. Kim Bali broke <gasps> up with Usman. Well, she did? On TV yesterday. I didn't hear about it. You didn't hear about it? You don't watch 90 Day, do you? I'm just saying. Heard around the world. Oh, well, Wait. in my world. Did you, so having hung out with her, did you not know this, though, somehow? I may or may not have known it. Okay, so you knew that. I know. I You know what? I, she's, they have them under pretty tight leashes, the people, because they this was filmed in July, so now it's December. So they've been broken up for a while, right? So she's had to like wear the ring and do the whole thing. Didn't she bring his son though to your guys' party or something? No, that's her son. Oh, her son. Yeah, his son. No, they he wanted a kid. Anyway, I'm glad she's better off. I think. Yeah. And now the tell all will be on not this weekend but next weekend, and that's going to be so good. Now she and I all really have something to talk about when we go to lunch. Stop it. You're not going to lunch. I'm going to breakfast with her before you go to lunch with her. No, I'm going to lunch with her before you go to breakfast No, you're not. Her. Don't yeah. steal my new friend. I'm texting her right now. <laughs> Don't steal Me my and Eric have back-to-back -back dates with, was it, what was it, Tom Cruise and Oh, Nicole, Nicole Kidman. Kidman. Oh, like, yeah. And uh, Kimberly. <laughs> Random. It's a busy schedule. Um, did you want to do one of your questions here? Or should we save them all for Thursday? I, we can save them all for Thursday for our Christmas show. Well, all right, then I have something. Wait, okay. Real quick. So you went out to lunch breakfast with her and you're like, hey, how's your, uh, how's the titular character of 90 Day Fiance, your, your foreign fiance? She's like, um, hmm, interesting question. Can't tell you. Pretty much. Okay. Pretty much. And then you went, oh, okay, you guys broke up. You can't tell me. Um, no, I didn't. I was just like, okay, well, I, I understood. She can't say anything. She is. I mean, she probably oh, signed yeah. documents oh, where yeah, she I'm can't sure say anything. So she was being very good. But she did tell us some behind the scenes stuff that was really interesting. But I'm not going to say anything because I promised her I wouldn't. Probably an awkward brunch. You ask no. her all these questions. She's like, mm. <laughs> No, I didn't. You know, I usually ask a ton of questions, but I refrained from asking so many questions of her because I knew that she couldn't answer half of the questions I had because it was all like, gossipy stuff um okay what do you think is it rude to leave a new year's eve party before midnight no, no. what why i have left so many new year's eve parties before midnight yeah well there's a new poll that says that you should wait until at least one o'clock or oh wait until God. the ball drops and then leave if you're invited to a party make sure you bring something and don't leave before before the ball I'm drops. Listen, my balls ball. drop way before <laughs> <laughs> New Year's at midnight. I'm going to use that excuse if I ever want to leave a party early. I'm like, I already saw balls drop today. I'm going to get yeah. it. Oh, God. Um, okay, how about this? Things we pretend nobody does, but we all know we do them. Okay. Passing gas in public. Oh, done. When was the last time you did that? About five minutes ago. Oh, no. my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> Definitely your last visit to TJ Maxx, I'm sure. Oh, for sure. <laughs> You've crop dusted TJ Maxx many a time. Oh, my God. You'd think it, you would think it was a cornfield. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you go into an aisle at a store and you see someone in front of the object you're looking for, but you pretend you're getting something else all the while hovering near them, waiting for them to leave that area so you can get it. Do you do that? 
No, I just go excuse me, and I I don't have time. I think you did fart. I think you did fart. No, you, I didn't. Like right now? Like I'm smelling something that's not nice. <laughs> no, I did not. I, mean, I was just kidding. Um, I don't think you were. I, I was. Where's the dog? Dang, no. we're just throwing oh, accusations oh, right now. <laughs> well, I'm smelling something that's not nice. I love the power of suggestion. It drives her crazy. It does. Uh, making snap jud- judgments based on someone's appearance. Okay, we all do that. Yep. This, I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> this one I love. Do you guys, when you open up a birthday card from your parents or from whoever, and you pretend not to see the money fall out, or you pretend like you're really interested in the card and the, like, oh, wait, there's money too? Oh, my God. Oh, my what? God. Wow. I didn't even see it fall out of the card. Actually, I just open the envelope, don't even look at the card, just take the money and throw the card behind me over my shoulder and go, appreciate it. And wow. It. That is wow. macho. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pretty cool like that. <laughs> Grandparents um, respect me. Looking up words that people use because we don't know what they mean, even though we pretend to understand when they're talking. No. Because I pretty much know what every word means. I, I, I don't, don't run into that you issue. Have. You haven't? I don't think so. Telling small lies, especially to make others feel better. Have you ever told anybody, sure. like, you look great and not me- meant it at all, just to make them feel better? Oh, you, you mean like, yes. Tell little lies like that? Laura, that's a great shade of lipstick. It doesn't look like you're choking, <laughs> you're turning blue. <laughs> <laughs> They're nice and pink. Uh, reading messages from the notification bar, then pretending you didn't see the message until much later, or watching the call come through, and then later saying, oh, I'm sorry, I missed your call. I didn't even see it come through. I think everybody does that. Everybody does that. Panic cleaning before guests come over, and then when guests get here, apologize for the mess. No. I do that all the time. I either clean or don't clean. Well, I panic clean. I did today. I panic cleaned. I did the floors in here. I did the floors in there, but the place is still a mess. (laughs) So I would apologize. I I kind of expect it. Yeah, I know. I know. (laughs) Smelling your own body odor. Do you do that? Do the the pit test? Having a full conversation with your pet. No. 100%. Oh, for sure. Yeah, we know. I've, I've got the recording to prove it. I know. You do. Oh, we have full on conversations. I swear this dog knows what I'm saying. I swear to God he does. He does. Yep. Um and saving oh, do you save dead batteries thinking okay, I'm going to take all these batteries and I'm going to properly dispose of them sometime. Nope. They go and in the they, trash. I know me too. I but mean, they're not supposed to. Yeah, I don't pretend I don't pretend to recycle them. Really? Oh, yeah. Where where do you dump them? I'm like, "Oh my god." I, yeah, you're are not you supposed, supposed to? I don't know. I know. So the trash. No, yeah. I, I, that's what I do, but you're not supposed well, to. I'll, I'll Google it real quick. Okay. Did you know that Elon Musk is no longer the richest man? Good. He, I guess, lost a hundred billion in Tesla stock. Oh, what and a And then he paid 44 million for Twitter. Billion. I know. I was going to say, that must be a typo. So with all his losses, he's down to a pitiful... One hundred and sixty-eight point five billion dollars. Oh, that's shame. What it is total shame. Such a shame. The newest richest man in the world is Bernard Arnault. Uh, sh- oh yeah. You know who he is? Yeah, I hate him now. <laughs> He's a major shareholder in the French multinational corporation LVMH, yep. which stands for Moet Hennessy Louis Vuitton. Uh huh. He's worth $172.9 billion. He's married to Salma Hayek, I think. Oh, that's no right. Way. Yeah. I think he is. No uh-huh. way. Yes, I think he is. Yeah. I'm going to save this for tomorrow. And I think that's it. That's all I got. And then we have our big holiday show where Eric has uh, the question game holiday version. And I have a quiz for you guys. And the winner gets my scratched off $25 winning scratcher oh it's on okay Ooh, wait what is it it's on whoever wins this it's a quiz about 2022 okay? okay about events that happened whoever gets the most points will get my 25 dollar winning scratched off scratcher that's in my purse oh it's on oh boy okay yeah you might as well just give it to me now i 
Okay, I am very competitive for gambling money. <laughs> I think that you uh, you might not win this one. I don't think you're going to win this. I think Brian might win this one. There's some sports questions oh, on there. Oh, then he just hand <laughs> him, just give it to him now. I know, right? Uh, it's, <laughs> Sama Hayek is not married to the current world's richest man. Who is she married to then? Francois somebody. Oh, okay. It, it's not him. I thought he was the head of... What is his bio? Um, she, he might be. Let me see. This is fascinating. It is. He <laughs> is the CEO of Caring, and the president of Group Artemis Group. Yeah, Caring is. Um, oh, they're the. Um, yeah, they're the umbrella company for. Oh, you know what? He may have stepped down because he used to be involved with. It also may be that. Uh, Bernard Arnault, the actual world, world's richest man, just may own the thing that he owns or is president of. So mm -hmm. he just may be a step above him. Yeah, because her husband had the same last name. Oh, yeah? Arnault, yeah. Arnault. Arnault. Mm -hmm. Oh, his name is Pinault. <clears throat> oh, Pan oh they're all, they all sound Pin the same. Pinault? They all sound the same. They do. I don't think all that you're French supposed to say Pinault. Pinault. Yeah, same. right. Pinault, Arnault. Anyway, you Probably guys. Arnault and Pinault. Right. And and I think Pino. I pronounced it right. You I, probably did. I think I did. Uh, make sure you guys um, subscribe. If you would, if you want to, I think it'd be really fun. I would love to have you guys. Um, or else. <laughs> no, it's four ninety nine a month. We, we're going to send you little videos throughout the week and you get to come to our meet and mingle, which is January 26th. And we have prizes and surprises and fun things. And you get to watch Instagram live and hang out with us on Monday nights. So, you can guess which videos Eric is wearing underwear in and which ones he's not. Right. If he's wearing jeans, chances are he's not. <laughs> if he's wearing sweatpants, chances are he's not. If you can smell it through the camera, he may not be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's... Are you wearing them now? Why yes. we discuss Why this? Why do you have to think about it? Because <laughs> it happens so infrequently. Why yes, are you I wearing them now? Were you cold this morning? Is it because of coldness? No. He wakes up and throws a dart at a dartboard that just says underwear and no underwear. Well, yeah, what would, Yeah, you woke up and made a decision to wear underwear, so. It was a little chilly this morning. Yes. The cold, see? The it's light, the cold. The, it's when the breeze starts to come through. <laughs> I can see <laughs> that. I can see that. <laughs> well, all right. We have our big Christmas show coming up on Thursday, and then we are taking a week off, and then we'll be back with a brand new backdrop, brand new logo, and brand new fun stuff. So make sure you subscribe. Okay? And a website. That's right. Oh my God. I knew I was forgetting something. And a website. So anyway, love your podcast. Oh yeah, baby. Love your podcast. Love you, my sweet babies. Bye.